what's up everybody welcome back all right man today's video is just the mid-season um stat update and recruiting update so uh let's hop into it all right man so on the recruiting trail um on the recruiting trail for in season recruiting i just went after position skill uh players so um you know, not not big deal, but uh, Donovan Lester here. Um, he's coming in when we play uh, Ole Miss. That's when I scheduled him to come in. So uh, these are his numbers right here, his attributes. Um, his hands is a C plus. Potential and discipline is right where I want it to be. So um, this is his uh, pitch feedback. So. Um, we still in the mix with that man, so we should be able to get this kid. So um, he's kind of on the short side, but he's heavy, 5'10", 200 pounds. So um, that's one. Also, right there, he said he won his lucky jersey number. So I'm pretty sure if I go ahead and offer that to him, he will sign on the dotted line. He's a three-star uh, wide receiver. So um. Then we got another wide receiver because we're losing a ton of wide receivers and I actually want to build the wide receiver core to my liking. I need height and I want speed. So um, this is my reason for that. But uh, Brian Jones here, he's another three-star caliber uh, wide receiver. Um, he's six feet, 203 pounds also. Those are his attributes right there, and it is right where I want it to be. And he is also visiting on the um, Ole Miss game. So uh, we got to win that game, y'all. That game is critical with all the recruiting that I'm doing. Um, also, I went after the uh, number seven guard in the country. He's a three-star, 6'5", 335 pounds. This will be tremendously needed on our offensive line the way I want to build it so um those are his attributes everything is squeaky clean the way I like it and he is also visiting on the old Miss game so um you know hopefully we can uh bring him on also I had another guy but unfortunately uh it looks like he signed I forgot who it was um but, you know, that kind of sucks. And his quarterback right here, he still has us on the list. But, um, you know, at the moment, we really don't need a quarterback because, um, you know, Jacob Free balling and he's a true freshman. So uh, I think I'm, a, I, I'm not I'm not going to bring in another quarterback on top of him, you know, just to uh, get things in perspective. So, um <clears throat> That's recruiting side of things, man. Um, also, we can go in and look at the uh, injury update because we do have quite a few uh, people out. And here are the injuries. All of the injuries are season-ending injuries. So uh, Elijah Hamilton, he was uh, he had a big part to our uh, three-game uh, three-game stretch wins. Um, but uh, I already miss him in the secondary. Um, I went to get ahead and gave him a uh, medical red shirt because he got injured, I think, game two. And um, I couldn't give him one because he already used his red shirt. But uh, like I said, on the left-hand side of the uh, line where he's at, man, see, we need him over there. But, you know, he's done. But um, that's pretty much it on that. So um, other than that, man, uh, let's hop into the stats all right man so we're gonna do a uh, stat ranking first and then we'll go to team stats so right now offensively these are our numbers right here and this is where we rank in the conference in the sec and in the nation so uh we're pretty much dead last with 343 total yards offense shocking right just shocking um Offensive yards per game, we still pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. Passing, pretty much middle of the pack in the nation and in the conference. So I'll take that. Rushing, we dead last. Um, 
right now, like I said, man, we don't have the type of players for the offensive line to function as a traditionally three yards in the cloud of dust type running team. So, um, you know, we're going to take it like it is. Uh, points per game, we only average 16.6. That's pretty much bottom of the barrel. Passing touchdowns, again, we're at the bottom of the barrel. Rushing touchdowns, again, we at the bottom of the map. First downs, 73 first downs out of all the games we've played. And we're still kind of at the bottom of the barrel. Sacks allowed, we only allowed 15 sacks out of uh, six games. No. Yes, yeah, six weeks of uh, play with one bye week in the middle of it. So um, we 86, tied for 86 in the country, and we're in the middle of the pack in the SEC. Red zone attempts, we had 10, um, pretty much bottom of the map. Red zone touchdown, the same. Red zone field goals, the same. <laughs> Red zone score, 59%. We're still at the bottom of the map. So uh, offensively, right here, just going through this it just shows a lot of the offensive struggles that we have as you know a team as a unit on offense but um on the defensive side of things where this is my part of the field this is what i've played this is what i've coached so defense is defense but anyway man total yards per game uh, 133 that's what we've given up and we are pretty much at the top I don't know who's beating us in the NCAA ranking nationally, but man, we handling business right there. Passing yards per game, 129. That's what we allow in the average, and we're again placed at the top. Uh, rushing yards, we limit everybody we play. We're at the first on both uh, categories on that. Average points against, again, we're still in the top. Sacks, 21 sacks on the season. We're ranked seventh in the nation and second in the SEC. Interceptions, we got nine. I like to play a lot of man coverage, so I don't like to sit in zone. I'd rather have man coverage because that helps out with the way I like to blitz. So um, with nine interceptions out of man coverage, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, Fumbles recovered, uh, we got six, so we're pretty much at the top. Red zone attempts, um, first and that. Red zone touchdown, first and that, no field goals. Red zone scoring is 25%. So uh, we get the stops and we force people to get off the field or we force turnovers. So um, we'll take it, man. Uh, efficiency, man, third down efficiency, uh, third down conversions. We're at the bottom. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, turnovers though this is another key stat for defense and offense depending on how you want to look at it interceptions thrown we thrown 11 that puts us at the bottom fumbles lost we've lost 10 so that put us at the bottom all our total giveaways we are at the bottom now flip it defensively we got nine picks pretty much middle of the pack and we recovered six fumbles pretty much at the pack. So with the 15 takeaways, we are right where we need to be at. So um, that's that. Um, team stats, we're nowhere to be seen off in the nation. Let's see where we at, yo. We probably somewhere at the bottom. I ain't gonna go past like 50 or something. Nope, too far down. Too far down. But let's check it out. In the SEC, we're still nowhere to be found. The top producers offensively. In the SEC, is Florida followed by Tennessee, followed by Alabama, followed by Mississippi State, and then Georgia. So, um, yeah, there we are. Ten. Unbelievable. Defense, though, I'm pretty sure we're at the top. There's defense. We pretty much dominate in all categories, man, like we're supposed to. Let's check out nationally right there Penn State is the only other team that is beating us in uh, defensive performance so um followed by Miami Ohio State and Ohio so uh let's see what the top 10 is so yeah we got a lot of big uh, teams in there so um you know I just still, we, 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 we still got a lot to do, man. We still got a lot to do, man. I'm talking about a lot, but, uh, that's going to wrap this video up, yo. Um, 
y'all stay tuned to the next video and i will see y'all later peace